The Matrix Radio Vision Live with DWI, live from the BXNY. What's up, my good people out there? This is Miguel Garcia. And I am La Homa James. And we are Endangered, Endangered Talk. Talk. How y'all doing out there? Now, friends, family, our acquaintances, we've been going at this for a minute now. We told y'all we was coming to you. We are finally here. We and are here. That's right. We are ready to blow your minds. And so what else? And blow what else? <laughs> There's a lot of things that need to be blown. But um, we want to put together, um, we've been talking about this for a very long time. This has been a dream of mine. It's been a dream of mine. I've been, I'm being directed, and this is nice to be handled because, you know, it's kind of hard to handle me. So today is our first show, Endangered Talk. We are a sex-based, relationship-based. And we will cover other topics as well, right? Exactly, of course. Because I know nothing about sex. He, he knows nothing Never about done it before. <laughs> I made three. Well, I made two, you know, raised one. But I know nothing about sex. This is a sex expert here. No, I am not the sex expert. Miguel is a sex expert. He's the relationship <laughs> expert. He's been in a relationship a long time. So expect us to be professionally unprofessional. Hey, that's what we're here for, to be professionally unprofessional, to have a lot of fun, to entertain, to educate. Um, and as I cannot not stress blowing your mind. And I'm pretty sure that the questions that we're going to get, you know, we're, we're pretty much going to get that question. What is Endangered Talk about? So when we get asked that question, you know, how would you break that down? Okay. Endangered Talk to me um, would basically be anything and everything that you feel is endangered in a relationship. Okay, like for, for example? For example, um, some people, monogamy would be endangered. Okay. I actually agree. I actually agree. Now, um, I would take it even further than that, you know, as I would think that it's like a current event, as far as like the way I'm seeing the world right now, I think men are becoming extinct. Men? Men are endangered. Mm. You don't think so? <laughs> you, left, you left me like kind of speechless. No, I honestly do, because men, as far as, I don't know what you mean by that, but when you say men being extinct, I take it two ways. That there aren't any real men out here anymore. I didn't hear any claps. Okay, or <laughs> that a lot of women are just not finding the right one, so they're deciding to go to the other side and play for the other team. That I grant that. Okay. And I actually, you know, so support you know, women's equality, the whole new, the women's movement. I am, I am a supporter of that. But. And, but to me, I think that because of that, at the same time, men are becoming extinct, extinct. behind that because with the rise of empowering women for, you know, right. that same thing is actually being the low rise of men. Well, I'm going to tell you, when I was, um, I think, 13 years old, my mother told me, let a man be a man. And a lot of women out here don't get that part where it's not saying you're taking anything from your man, but allowing your man to do what men do, cater to you, um, be the aggressor. I mean, I'm, I'm submissive to men all day, every day. I have no problem with it. But everyone do know I'm also a boss. Right. But there's. Right. I'll, I'll clap for that. I'll clap for that. <laughs> you know, those are just, they're just certain times when we have to submit to our men. And men like that. I mean, some men like, what do you like? A submissive woman in the bedroom or um, an alpha, like someone that's just coming at you, you know, taking charge? I like a woman that could function in the gray area, meaning that she can go either way. She can right. become an alpha. That means I know she knows how to handle her business okay. and she knows when to submit. It's my preference. No, I'm with you on that. Um, I, I really am, I would say me, myself, I am definitely total submissive when it comes to a man. And there are other times when I'm just like, hey, I'm going to be that alpha female and okay. rock your world. So now, you do see the point. 
See, because now we're touching more like on a sexual, on mm -hmm. a sexual, from a sexual standpoint. Okay. You know, which is that's that's pretty much the base we're gonna like really you know dig in on. You know, I was more talking about endangered. Okay. From the standpoint of men are at a point where we are being wiped out. That means like in the homes. Right. You know. You know, from a social standpoint, uh, from the you know, I, I'm gonna say from, from the workforce. Well, I honestly can agree with you on a lot of that, but that's about men stepping up their games and being men. And I know I'm going to get a lot of, you know, controversy on when I'm saying men being men, because I just honestly feel that there's a lot of things that's happening in today's world that men are just not stepping up and doing what they need to do as I'm not even just, we, we, we're sex-based, relationship-based, and I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about like anything and everything. You see a lady get on a train, she's pregnant, big old belly, y'all don't even get up. Everyone's sleepy now. Like, there's just different, this is where y'all want to say we're men and we're men and we're well, doing those, men those things. Men, those men should be extinct. <laughs> <laughs> those men. That's see, what I'm just saying. It's like know, there's certain aspects of men where you're, you're like, my father taught me how this and my uncles taught me that. But y'all not doing that anymore. Okay. Well, y'all get the gist of where we going with this whole thing. Right? So it could either be just from a sexual standpoint or sexually political at the same time. Yeah. You know, so we're, we're going to cover topics such as what we just discussed. So yeah. Miguel and I will definitely just go back and forth on some good topics. So now, now, with that said right there, we have our magic hat. And <laughs> that magic hat, it's full of topics. So we're going to choose one. I am going to allow my beautiful co-host to pick from the hat. OK. This is going to be fun. And we're going to bring in Nelson, because we, we, we need some, of other, some other voices and opinion. Ooh, I picked the big one. There you go. I picked the big one. There you go. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a really good question. OK, what Read is? Read it to the people, please. Read it to the people. Yes, this is for the people. This is for, <laughs> so I'm going to answer the question. We're going to have Miguel answer the question. And then we're going to ask you know, our stage people to answer the question. If I, if I said anything wrong as far as stage people, please, I did not mean it. <laughs> OK, the question is, what is more important to you, love or security? Wow. That is, you know what? I'm going to answer it this way. I am a person of love, you know, and I know I probably sound like a sissy, <laughs> but I love love, <laughs> all right? Security is a beautiful thing, you know, but I, from my perspective, living this life, there's just certain things you don't take with you, you know, so to me, it's all about that experience of love that makes it worthwhile. If it sounds probably a corny answer, but. It's real. There you have it. There you have it. So um, I'm, I'm like, no, that's a real that. answer. Um, I'm a sucker for love. Oh, so we got high five. We are, <laughs> yes, I am so a sucker for love. I've my heart's been broken in the past year by two people that probably did not deserve to have my heart, but I'm a sucker for love. Like. Well, Anything and everything. Security, I can secure my own bag. I can secure my own you know, lifestyle. But when it comes to love, I, I, I want that man that is definitely going to, you know, I don't know, just make me smile all the time. I'm smiling now, which is so wrong, because I'm stupid thinking about the wrong man. <laughs> So, okay, um, so, so we're going to be covering a few things. So we need to, let's, let's ask Nelson. So which one is for you, Nelson, security or love? You're young. He's a youngin', and he's a gorgeous one, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm a sucker for love, too, to be honest. I feel like that's, that's something that should not be replaced. It's organic. It's, you can feel love. That's the thing. You feel it. It's a feeling. Mm. So y'all get that, right? This is a room just full of love. Well, well, wait, right? we got one more. Love is in the air. <laughs> <laughs> no, love is in the air. I think love is important. Um, if you don't have that, I mean, security is important too, I guess, because you can't 
take well, love so security, to the bank. Security is very important. Like, you know, it kind of like, you know, it enhances the love that you have in your life. It kind of supports it. I think you we know? should go to another question because we all fill in. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I personally, um, I kind of agree with Miguel. They do kind of go hand in hand. Um, it's like, you can care, it's like, you can care about a person, you can love a person as, as, as much as you can, but if they can't even secure their self, it's kind of just like extra, it's extra weight. You I know agree. what I'm saying? It's like, when two people love each other, that ends up making children. That's going to be, if the person can't secure themselves, that's going to be the next child. That's right. Well, really, the first child. Right. No, that's I feel right. you. We feel what you're it saying. It becomes a strenuous situation. Exactly. You know, so it's like, it's best if you, Fall in love with somebody who's capable of securing himself. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? No, I agree with that. So good. You know, and that could actually segue to like, you know, how do you love? Everyone does not. Everyone loves in their own way. Right. This you is know? true. That that's a whole nother thing. Like now, what kind of love do you believe in? Like, what's love to you? Mm. What's love to me? Uh, well, I'm an unconditional lover. So I've dated men that have had nothing in their pockets to men that have had millions in their pockets. So that shows you I don't care which you got. I'm more so on that if, how you make me feel. I love to laugh. I love to joke around. I, I'm like, I'm that girl that I want to play basketball. I want to play pool and I want to put my high heels on and walk around your apartment naked. Like, okay. I'm just anything and everything. I'm fun. <laughs> like, like, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm all, like, love. I dated a guy for eight, um, maybe 10 years. And not dated. He was my fuck boy. <laughs> say it. He was my fuck boy. Okay. And we fucked around for, ooh, sorry to say that, but ladies, I look like a Barbie doll, but have a mouth like a sailor. He was a fuck boy. He was my fuck boy. And I hear, I hear it all the time. I fell in love with him, I would say, um, on the eighth year. We were messing around for 10, and I okay. fell in love on the eighth year. And it was because I actually got a chance to spend time with him and get to know him and just like, see how he treats people that don't have to give him anything. Okay. Like a homeless lady. Okay, so that's what you loved about him. Him, yeah. Now, did you feel loved by him? No, I did not feel loved by him. And, um, and that, that was like my original question. Like, uh, what is love to you? Like, how do you know when someone actually loves you? Mm, now he got me stumped, got me looking in the air. <laughs> Okay, I've been, I was married, and in that point, um, saying I was married for a long time, and I knew my husband loved me, but I took him, took him for granted, honestly. Like, the love that that man gave me, he would just, anything and everything, the shirt off his back, just, he would be a sucker for me. And that does not constitute... <laughs> She loves all you suckers out there. No, no, that did not constitute me knowing that he loved me, but everyone around us knew that this man loved me. Like, but it felt like love to oh, you. Oh, no, it was love. He loved it. He loved me, my children, anything and everything. Yeah. I know love when I, and it's like you know it when you see it. You know it when you feel it. So it's so crazy how a lot of us, we fight in relationships when you know darn well that someone's not treating you right, you know that's not okay. love. But we stay around and we just hoping and praying that one day they're gonna love me the way I need to be loved. Like what I'm getting from you is like you have an idea of what you feel love feels like. I know what love feels like. So, so you know what love feels yeah. like. Okay. Now, I would say this. Um, yeah. I know love to me is based on how I was taught to love. Okay. You know, and I'm going to have to take that back to my childhood up until this point right here. Like, to me, like, love pushes you to do better. Love mm. doesn't hold you back. I agree. You know, like, to me, so it's like when I get that type of energy, like, to me, I put that in the love category. Like, you know, like, I am getting this type of energy because this is love. No, that, that's like, a love good Love doesn't allow me just to be a failure. 
I love this. This is great. <laughs> yes. We got to get a round of applause. We got to applause. Round of applause. Enough. I'm loving it. Mm. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that was okay. That was, that was one of these. Up. Hey, I was, I was feeling that. I want another question. I, I'm just so want to be over Should we go back love. to the hat? Yes. Should we go back to the hat? Go back to the hat because I'm tired of love. <laughs> it's that quick. Yeah, we got to move on. Yeah, we done with that. We're done with love. Why are we going to shake it up, shake Maybe it up? Maybe we'll get some sex. Oh, please, let's, let's get something hotter than love. Oh, I don't even want that one. Oh, I don't want this. Oh, yes, I do. I, I want this one. I want this one. You, you look, you, we gonna go there. What is that? <laughs> okay. How long should a sex session last? Hmm. Ah. Hmm. I want that. That's the question. To, to me, I want that to be for the women. I think I want, it is. I want the women to answer that. Ah. Okay, me being a woman, I think I'm going to take him up on that. Okay. And men, please don't be offended. Because you know we think all kind of shit. I honestly right. believe a good sex session should be an hour. Oh, good lord! To two hours long. You mean, all right, on the same knock or a few different knocks? Okay, okay, let's see. Um, we're gonna say oral. Uh, penetration. I mean, we can take a little. I, I know men, y'all have downtime. Put it in increments. Increments. <laughs> How long for the oral? Um, oral shouldn't. La I mean, it should last until I bust. And I'm sorry, it takes okay. me a long time to do that. But um, ten minutes of oral was fine. Ten minutes of oral was fine. I mean, that's for him or for her. Jaws start to hurt after a while. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so 10 minutes of oral, I mean, you know, 10, 15, whatever makes you happy, you know, whatever. And I mean, if it's that good and it only takes five, that's even better. But after oral, then penetration. We need to change the different positions. Okay, change how much time on that? Oh, my God. Can we just, can we do like 30 minutes, 40 minutes? Okay. I would just, as long as hopefully he could last. Okay. So now we got 10 minutes and we got 30 minutes, right? We got, that's 40. That's 40. Right? If my math is correct. That's 40 right? minutes. So we have 20 minutes left. I'm going to say 45. Left. We got 20 minutes left. Um, go pee, come back, and start over again. So about number two minutes. That's a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So okay. we get we get from the backstage sidelines. We hear it's more. It goes into love. But I like I. Okay. I I I'm not gonna say that I'm an addict, but I love when I'm with the right person. I become addicted to him, and I just want to just engulf him and just tear him up. Oh, well, I see. I see where you're going time. with this whole thing. So, All right. if if I can have sex with him for a half an hour before work and come home from work and get that hour in, I'm happy. Okay. So basically, like, if we could do two hours a day, I'm extremely happy. All right. We still have 18 minutes though. I didn't forget. You went to the bathroom. <laughs> two minutes. But like I said, come still, back. Okay, come back. We come back and that's some fellatio happen. Okay, back to that. Back to that. Okay. And then we have other holes that we might want to explore. Okay. And, you know. Other holes that we may want to explore. Exactly. Okay, so this is every time you go for that hour. We I, have to go for that other hole that you want to explore. No, it doesn't have to. We already using, <laughs> what, a few holes. <laughs> the people want to know. <laughs> I mean, it all depends on the mood you're in. It all depends on what you're up for, what you like, you know? So y'all know, if you have sex with La Homa, you got to get that other box, all right? No, that is That's not. That's what you said. That La Homa does not say everyone can get that box, okay? okay so, so they have to be a special someone. You have to be special, definitely. So who, who's that special someone? We, no. we don't want to let that out. We are not letting that out. If you want to know who that special someone is, you have to come back and tune in and tune in and tune in. Get fired on these bitches one time. <laughs>
you know something? I just noticed like we really uh we did not in- really introduce ourselves. Like we didn't tell the people like who we are, like where we come from. You know, like what we should we just skip that part or? Hey, you're still mic'd and you're still on the <laughs> air. <laughs> who are you? Okay. Since you asked. Yeah, I want to know okay. who are you. I am, back to this, Miguel Garcia, originally from the Bronx, lived in Brooklyn for a little while, currently reside in Harlem, what's up Harlem world, uh, I'm a father of three, um, occupational wise, been in the security business for a long time, I'm going to say about 20 years, and I've also been an event promoter in New York City for quite some time. So those folks that recognize my face, you know, Love y'all. I'm doing it this way now. I'm with my partner. We are doing it live for you. We're going to try to make this big. Not trying, we are. Yeah, trying leads to failure, and we're all about doing it right. So, Lahoma. So, I am Lahoma James. I am a mother of two. I, I'm, I don't have as much as Miguel has to say, but I'm a mother of two. I've modeled. I've. Good enough? Yeah. I'm like. Uh, this I has been like a dream for of mine. I to show the people the whole model thing that you're talking about. Well, I'm five foot nine, 155 <laughs> pounds. And five foot nine and a half. You got to throw the half in there. Throw, throw that, that half yeah. up in there. Um, this has been a dream of mine for like forever. And I'm not going to say how many years because then I'm going to give my age away. And Tell him how we met. Now he's telling me what to do. You know, ladies, this is how <laughs> men do. But um, I'm low key. I'm fun. I'm exciting. And I just think that. This was something I wanted to do for a very long time. I want everyone to leave one of our shows. Actually, go home and make a baby. Populate the earth. Sure Learn that. some stuff. Get a little education on sex education, relationship education. We are not experts. We do not claim to be experts. We just claim to be fun and entertaining and very sexual. Well, one of us. You figure out which one. Okay, I, I will say that we are experts in giving our opinion. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's fact. <laughs> we gonna try Doesn't to mean that. Facts. But you know what? We have fun with it, and that, that's what this is all about. So, you know, we hope that you tune in. Uh, you know, we do have a lot of good friends question. out there. Um, those in the professions of maybe dating counseling. Uh, oh, we're going to come at... Love doctors. Yeah. Uh, you know... You're a DJ, a fellow promoter. You just you know how to reach out to us. We would like to have you as a guest on our show. Amen. Okay. And before we, I don't know if we're going right now, but before it sounds because it sounds like an ending, but we want to hit another question. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. So, so we gonna get that hat. You you gonna get the hat this time? I, it's not really ladylike for me to be bending down. Oh, but see, this is why we're becoming extinct. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna pick this time. You're gonna pick. Hmm. I'm ready. Okay. Do you always have to come for it to be considered good sex? Oh, <laughs> he puts that over here in front of me. Um, no, I, I can be honest about that. I mean, uh, I would love to come every time, but uh, we women, we do not always come every time. Uh, most, of this, we, most women don't even know what it's like to come. That is hint, hint to you men out there. Okay, so that's our fault. It's your fault. So that has nothing to do with you not knowing your pussy. Oh, I know my vagina. I know how to make me come. There's a lot of women that do not know their vaginas and know, do not know how to make themselves come. Okay, so now you're taking the responsibility away from the woman completely. No, if I'm not. you choose to interact with a guy, all right, you know, some of us dudes, you know, I, I understand. Sometimes, you know, we can be duds. Like, mm-hmm. I get it. But for a woman that knows herself, her body, if you're engaging, you should know all right, how to kind of like direct the situation to that point where you're going to reach no. climax. We do, but there we know when and how and how our bodies should be, but it's your partner has to pay attention to you. If you're moving your leg and you lift it this way and he's steady pounding the other way and you're like, babe, no, 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 wait, and he's steady, no, 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 wait, you're messing it up. Who am I messing it up for, you or me? 
Like, you guys get to come all the time. It's a little harder for us to come, so let me just guide you to the promised land and... I think a woman that knows herself knows how to guide with that ass. You guide, but everyone is not always willing to move or, you know, maneuver, move and all. There's some men that are selfish lovers. Okay. Most men okay. Okay. are selfish lovers. <laughs> and that's where we women can say, okay, the sex was really great. It was really good. But did you come? No. And a lot of women will walk away from that and then be happy because the penetration was great. The session was great. It was long. And you're like, you know what? I climaxed, but I didn't come. And a lot of people don't understand the difference between climax and that's like being at the top of that roller coaster and you're tweedling like, oh shit. Oh my God. Yes, I'm there. I'm there. But then it's like, you don't go over because he did Oh shit, I just bust. And you're like. It's like this. <laughs> and, and all my everything. <laughs> You can't knock him because, I mean, you can knock him, but it's like, okay, it was a good session. That was a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but I didn't get to bus. And he's like, well, I can't. Eh, you always come. So I would say that you had faked it before then. I don't fake it. I'll just tell you I didn't come. Oh, so you one of those that straight out with just like hurting oh, yeah. your feelings. It's not hurting your feelings. When, okay, if it's hurting, oh, Nelson's over here laughing. But if it's hurting a man's feeling, why is my feelings not hurt? Because I didn't get the cum. Yeah, there should be some eating of the box because. And, Back to that. And I don't, and my thing is, there's one thing coming through oral and coming through All penetration. Right. Can you break that down, please? Okay, anyone can honestly make you come through oral. Only men can make you come through penetration. Oh, so that has. Okay, so that's what separates the boys. From the men. From the men, or the men from the, on the Exactly, end, right? either way. Okay, then, you know, wow. Wow, so, you know, we, we got a lot to fucking learn. <laughs> we really... <laughs> I just found out that I'm fucking whack. Oh my God, no <laughs> one said that. <laughs> you are the worst. Listen. I'm going to embarrass myself, all kind of shit. Hey. I don't claim to be Mr. King Super Dick. No, I don't, I don't claim that. But you know hey. what? I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. Hey, how long have you been in? Are, are you in a relationship? Yes, I've been in a relationship for a very, 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 <laughs> very, very long time. <laughs> That sounds like a good thing. So well, now you do know why I say he's the expert on relationships. No. No, that does not make <laughs> no, me an expert. We're, we're but I will say claim. that I am experienced. Experience. You know, I could actually, you know, tell you all the fucked up things to do to make you last in a relationship. Do everything wrong to keep you there. <laughs> you know what? I think he's right because it seems like more relationships run off of dysfunction. No, no, no listen to me. I'm, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> But it's all good. I mean, nothing, we do not claim to be expert. We just want to be here to entertain, to have fun, and to, you know, it, I think peak, not peak, what is the word I'm looking for? Entice your mind. All that good stuff. Like, we got two people in our, out here, and we want to bother them too. So what's good, what, what, is, what was the question? Because I'm messing so up over you're here. You're going to make me read that over? Oh, no, no. Do you have to come to make a session good? Nelson? I believe so, yeah, because if I don't come, I'm getting blue balls. See, that's men, women. No, but no, I think the women, too, I, I feel like, you know, the women got to come, too, because if she's not coming and then it's just you, then, I mean, you might as well go beat off by yourself because... You know what I'm saying? It got to be both ways. You know what? That's beautiful. Let me, let me I'm glad something. he's only 22 and he says that. So all you youngsters get it. <laughs> 22 years old, he's getting his fuck on. Give him a round of applause. But, but do you get where he's coming? He's 22 and he says she needs to get hers and he needs to get his. Now, he could be my son and I don't always get mine. I would love to always get mine. But I don't, but I do have great sex sessions. So how do you feel about that? I mean, I think all men are the same. All right, well, you might be wrong then. Oh, okay. Because me personally, like, I, I kind of feel like it's kind of pointless if she don't get hers. Like, like you said, I might as well go 
church over or something, get, go get me a flashlight or something if that's the case. Um, what, what am I what am I doing this with another person for? It's supposed to be a mutually, uh, uh, like the, the, the experience is supposed to be mutual. You get what I'm saying? Just like when you're in a relationship, that experience is supposed to be mutual. You're supposed to enjoy the relationship just as much as I enjoy the relationship. You get what I'm saying? Oh. No, I totally get what you're saying, but I kind of feel that y'all say one thing. Oh, 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 oh. He's holding out on us. I think he's an expert. He may be an expert, but I just feel that I think men say one thing, and then if you're having sex with them. Hold on, I just want to have one more thing. Okay. Just because I feel that way doesn't mean it always happens. Oh, okay. See, yeah. that's where I was going. <laughs> if it don't happen, I'm, I'm a little disappointed, and I'm like, damn, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Like, let, let's talk, let's figure this out. Now, when that doesn't happen, let's talk about when it doesn't happen. Do you have a good day after that? Or was your whole day fucked up after that? Um, I wouldn't say my whole day is fucked up. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's like, every time I think about her or when I get back around, I'm trying to figure it's it like, out. Like, what, what's up? It's like, like, I need that do-over. Yeah, like, how, how can I make this a pleasure, more pleasurable mm -hmm. experience for you? You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's, it's like it's not it's not my day is not gonna be shot if I don't get my mind broke because like you said, I'm having <laughs> it's gonna hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like but it's like at the same time it's it's it's, it's gonna be on it's kinda gonna be on my mind. It's gonna mess with my confidence a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But like, damn, what the hell? <laughs> See, this is this is shit that we deal with. But you guys honestly come more than you don't come. So Please. It may be on your mind, but then you're gonna tell me so you're at the brink of, oh yeah, I'm about to shit, babe. Damn. Wait, yeah. And she's like, wait, 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 no, baby, wait, wait, no, no. And you're like, oh wait, wait, no, no, yeah. Who came? You did. And she's like, damn it, shit, damn. You gotta tell her to please don't do nothing. When you get to that point, like, stop moving. So this is why I say sex sessions can go on for hours because now you came and I still didn't come. You need to go back in. And I mean, really, go back in. Okay, so now, if you came a few times prior to that happening, are you upset? No, if I came, then got... it doesn't matter. It's all good. I came, now it's time for you to come. So but you got I, credit after, so now I you got some credit. I love a man that can wait, hold okay. out until the end. Because first of all, y'all okay. come, and a lot of men cannot get back up and come back hard and strong right. so they can continue and come again. Because if, okay, this is why, if. We both came in 20 minutes. We don't need to go two, three hours. But if you came, and I'm still sitting here like, doo -doo -doo. like, come on. Okay, I get that. What I'm speaking of, I'm, I'm actually touching on that moment mm -hmm. where you feel yourself coming, mm -hmm. but he busts off first. It happens. And lets you down. So, but let's say prior to that happening, he already made you come twice. No, that's fine. So then you're good with that. Why wouldn't I be? I mean, I'm not selfish. So those other two times that he made you bust, you kind of use that as credit for that last one that you of did. Of course, as long as we both came, it's that's all that yeah, matters. I mean, because this shit happens. It, this no, shit happens. it really doesn't. It more so happens when you don't come and he comes, but they think you come. Because I've heard, well, you already came. And I'm like, no, I'm just wet. I never assume that shit. I'm glad you don't. See, I that's a grown man. I assume because that shit. A lot of people, a lot of men will think, oh, you got super wet. No, I am mean, super wet. That doesn't mean I can't. That means I got to the top of that roller coaster and I'm tweedling, 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 and I was about to come, but you move. You, you're like, oh, wait, 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 my leg, or oh, no, baby. It's something. You did something and you didn't keep me tweedling to go over. So yeah, it felt like you could feel the muscles contracting everything, and it's like, oh, yeah, she can't. No, I didn't come. And I see, and I got that. And like I said, I don't assume that. Usually I know when I had a great performance. <laughs> this is how I know. That's a good thing. If she just so happens to get up, go to the kitchen, and I ask for something, and I get that shit right away, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I must have did my thing. <laughs> Real talk. I don't know, because I give great performances all the time, and... I've actually have one dude that he's had a blockage where the first two or maybe three times we had sex, he didn't come. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm feeling offended. Okay, so, so it happens on the end birthday. <laughs> and only with him, only okay. with him. And this okay. is one person wow. in my like 20 something years. I'm like, no, what's going on? But when that happens, I think it's the male blockage. 
Hmm. Have y'all ever had that happen where you've been with a woman and you like going, 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 and you're into her and it just doesn't happen? I've been through that a few times where it's just like, yo, I'm, I'm getting tired. I gotta stop. Been going for like an hour and a half. I'm, and you know, and it's just, you just, you just can't. <laughs> and you just still can't come. Yeah, it's just like, yo. That's <laughs> incredible. What about? That's great. That just means we going on forever. Look at that. See, that's our young that's energy. That's that young energy. Our young energy. That's young energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, because but Enjoy, I would man. I would say oh boy was good to go and it was like wonderful. I loved it, but I was just I would feel at the end of it like, well, I'm feeling some type of way because I couldn't make you come. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, it's just it's I'm like that with so, everybody. Yeah, it's, it's and I'm so. like, no. I, I Oh, I, I've never wanted him to fake it. I mean, I came, but then there was a time when he finally did come. I was like, yes! <laughs> he was like, yes, that was me. I did this, I did this. Then, <laughs> and he was able to come. I think it was him getting to know my body. Okay. And then eventually, I mean, after he came one time, then it was like every time we were together, he came. Was he drinking Hennessy those other times? I, it, <laughs> or Guinness. Or Guinness. Um, I that can do it. No, I don't think he was drinking anything. Okay. Maybe some weed, but I don't think he was drinking anything. But no, he just got great stamina, and I love it. I love. I'm not going. I'm not mad. Like, yeah, go go. I would. I'm sorry. I can say I'm selfish right now. I, he don't have to come. Let me come. Then it's like, can you come? Yes. Now you can come. Okay. Yeah. Should we move on? Yes, we can. To the next topic. Or. Ooh. The hat. The magic hat. I got it. Pick, please. Oh, I get to pick. Oh, God. Alrighty. Oh, 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 oh. okay. It's not that. Difficult. This is a good one. And I think this is for, I guess it could be for both male and female. Um, fellatio with or without a condom. Um, giving head with or without a condom. That's not food. That's okay. I'm it is fellatio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I said it in layman's turn. Okay. You want to hear it? Sucking dick with or without a condom. What is your preference? Okay. So, what is your preference? I mean, <laughs> you being the receiver with a condom or without? Me being the receiver. I don't being even the like receiver. That, I don't like how that. I don't like how that sounds. All right. <laughs> so we're going to turn it, because men think it's like right. one-sided. Right. So. I get you, though. I get you. All right. Uh, no. Honestly, I, I prefer skin to skin. Skin to skin. I prefer skin to skin. OK. So um, as a woman, would I prefer giving head with a condom or without a condom, um, depending on the person I'm giving head to? Um, new relationship with a condom. I mean, some people right here probably saying, oh, that's stupid, it should always be with a condom, but if I'm in a relationship that's a trusting relationship and I know that there's just him and I, then no, slap that, take that thing off. Let's, you know, let me rock your world. Mm. So with a new relationship, yeah, condoms, and I, I hear a lot of men are like, oh, no, it's not good. But it's, it's just as good. The flavored condoms out here are the bomb and safety first. Any condom companies that want to sponsor us, get at us in Danger Talk. Hello. See, we like you condoms. On everything. See us inbox on our IG. I mean, we're going to, I can't even, I'm in a room full of men, so it's like to ask any of these gentlemen, would they prefer a condom on their penis while they're getting head mm -hmm. or not? They're all going to say the same. And I don't want to hear no one say, no, I, I, I have a different view on that. But it was one of the questions. <laughs> it was one of the questions. It was one of the questions that, you know, we're, we're going to address it. But I feel, I mean, hopefully you agree, that we should move on to the next one. Yeah, because you can't go too far with this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I, you pick. Okay, then you hold the hat. I'll hold your hat. It's some questions in here. And we have some questions. We're going to get us a little oh, box. We're going to make this the last question. A magical box. Oh, this one is kind of interesting. Ooh, okay. Should relationships come with? A written contract. 
Okay, can can we elaborate? Can, can we just we? go in on that a little more? Okay. You mean like if I meet someone, we both interested in each other, we start dating, bam, whip out the contract. You know what? We got to do this for six months and revisit this whole shit. I actually like that. I like the whole idea of it because um, a lot of us, we get into these relationships and we're dating. And we're afraid to ask certain questions, which I think that a lot of people like to be lied to, which I'm one of those people who are like, look, I'm going to ask you a question. You tell me the truth or you, I have to believe what the heck you tell me. I feel that, hey, we sit down, we like each other, we went on a couple of dates, and we're like, we're feeling each other. Now I'm at this point where I want to be intimate with you. We should put together a little contract. So would it be six months? Do you revisit after a year? How would you do it? Depend. If, the, if we're really feeling each other, six months is a good you know, timeline. If we're really feeling each other. If we really, but if it's something like, OK, I know I'm feeling him, and I don't want to. Um, I don't know if people is like, I don't want to lose you, or if you know, I don't want him or her dating other people, then I think we should sit down. And some people probably say, oh, we're too, we're grown, we don't need a contract. But I'm like, you do contracts with your cell phones, you do contracts with your light bill, you do contracts with anything and everything, and we don't do contracts unless you're getting married with or just a relationship. So I think it is you know, a good thing. Why not get a contract out? We sit down here and we I'm write what we expect. That. I'm actually not mad at that, you know, but I would I would go with the six month thing. Six regardless months. if it's like right. going great, not too great. Only because let's just say if it's not going great, right? Mm -hmm. But you like some good things from it. Right. I feel like you know what? We could end this, but just like if you're employed for six months, you get unemployment, <laughs> right? That means we can still we still get them fucking checks. <laughs> well, I think 90 days, because they go. 90 days. 90 days. 90 days, what is that? Three months, right? So that's a probation period. Pretty well, much. basically, if you're dating, and this is 90 more days. OK. So we say we've been dating for a month or two. Now you know I'm liking your vibe. I'm feeling her. She, he's, you know, we feeling each other. And you know, like, OK, I'm at that point where I could see myself wife and her. Then that's when you should do it. So it's like, OK, I've been dating for about a month or two, and I'm really liking her, and I don't want her dating no one else. Hmm. Then, yeah, what we should sit down and be like, I mean, a verbal contract is OK, but it's nothing wrong. When we say contract meaning, don't mean you have to pull out the pen and paper. But a lot of people, like I say, they like to be lied to. So I would suggest, yeah, get out the pen and paper. Let's write down the things we expect. And you do not have to say, oh, well, you didn't do this, or you didn't do that. Then we shouldn't be together anyway. But if we got a little contract and we know that I'm only dating you, you're only dating me, we're okay. not sleeping around, then that's something that we should look into. What would be in your contract? In my contract? That you would um, expect? Ooh, OK, my contract would be, oh, I got to start out with, um, OK, I need to go out and have, I like to laugh. so. We need to at least go out maybe once or twice a week. Just to bug out, laugh. Okay. Um, I'm not a cuddle, cuddle, uh, I can't even say the word, cuddler. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a cuddler. But there are certain men that can get me to that point. So cuddling should be probably up there. And sex is very important. I like to have sex. I would like to spend a night at your house, maybe, or you spend a night at mine. And I want to wake up to sex. I want to go to sleep to sex. And if you come over after work, I want to have sex. So if it's three to four, oh, I said four, yeah. If it's two to four times during the times that we're together a day, I am extremely happy. And I know people say, oh, that's so unreal because we have real lives. Well, my kids are not babies, so I don't have anything to worry about that. <laughs> Is this an hour each time? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those short sessions, you know, they don't have to be more than a half an hour. It's all good. Because when you wake up in the morning, no one, you don't, I don't have time for an hour. So give me 20, 30 minutes. I'm good. And when you come home before we go to sleep, that could be an hour. Like, come on. If I didn't get nothing during, say, um, the hours of after work would be like 6 p.m. to midnight, then, yeah, you can give me between, you know, 45 minutes of an hour. That would be great. Okay, so... How many times a week again? 
Oh, I did this little thing on FB, and it said that La Homa likes to have relations 39 times a month. So you do the math. <laughs> so, so we, we chop that down. I can't do the math right now. I'm sorry. There's. But that's that's. There are only be 30 days in a month. But that'd be in your contract. Yeah, that would definitely be in my contract. Okay, like anything else you want to include in that contract? Um. Honesty, truth, um, I, I, I want you to be honest with me. I, I, I love, you know me, I'm a big one on honesty. I don't lie, you ask me a question, I tell you the truth, and I've gotten in trouble with that. I've had um, yeah. a lover ask me, did I give any loving to someone else? And yeah, I answered truthfully, and then he dead me on 11, which was like, we're not boyfriend girlfriends, we're just <laughs> lovers. I actually want that to be a topic. It's got to be a topic. Show. It definitely does. And he I would, be, I would love him to come back. Y'all going to love this one. It's a good one. Yeah. So we will come back to that. Yeah. So, so uh, I guess we're wrapping it up. Hey, it's always good to wrap it up. <laughs> in Danger Talk, y'all, thanks for tuning in with us. We're going to continue bringing it. We hope you love it. Hit us and let us know what topics will turn you on or t intrigue you. Anything that you might want to talk about, we will have. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube. Give us you know, your thoughts, your comments, and we'll come back at you even harder. Again, that's Endangered Talk on all those outlets she just mentioned. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate you.